Hello, and welcome back, everyone. Anf Wolf here with even more Star Wars: The Old Republic. Playing as Taya Genry here, my bounty hunter. And where we last left off, we were doing an interlude part of the series, where we were aiding the Imperial fleet for credits, of course, against the Republic. While the Treaty of Coruscant is still tentatively holding. But we are continuing with the Great Hunt, and we are going to learn about our second target on the Smuggler's Moon of Nar Shaddaa. So, the so called Smuggler's Moon is best known for one thing. Anything can be bought here if the price is right. Narshadar orbits Hutter, homeworld of the Hut Cartel, but exists as a power in its own right. Criminal organizations and legitimate enterprises operate side by side, regulated by the Hut's whims. Gleaming skyscrapers house corporations, casinos, technology shops, spice houses, and every other type of business imaginable. Although no other world offers Narshadar's unique services, the city has a notorious murder and disappearance rate. Gangsters, pirates, slavers, and worse crowd the streets, and Republic and Imperial representatives compete for influence with the local powers. Strangers should be extremely cautious. Indeed they should. Welcome to Nar Shaddaa, Hunter. Sleaziest place in the galaxy. Your target is the Eidolon, a professional assassin with a right scary reputation. Branded himself as the assassin who could kill absolutely anybody. For the right price, of course. Spent several years proving it, too. His background is a mystery, but he used to do a lot of work for the Hut Cartel. I'd suggest looking up Gellerin, a Twi'lek who works for the Cartel. Word is, he hates the Eidolon more than just about anybody. Oh, and when you find your bounty hunter rival, give him my best before you blast him to pieces. Happy hunting. Narshadaw, I always knew I'd find my way back here, just didn't picture it quite like this. Let's just focus on the job. Sorry, homecomings, you know. A few things you should know. The Hut Cartel pretty much runs this place, with the Exchange and various gangs trying to carve out their own peace. Krista mentioned Gellerin might help us track down the Eidolon. I remember that Twi'lek. Used to be a scummy slaver. Had a bad rep. A real ruthless creep. How do I find him? A lot of things might have changed while I was away. Let me track him down. Should we head to the promenade and see what Gellerin has to say? So we're gonna be working with someone with connections to the Hut Cartel. Oh yeah, we forgot to talk to Mako. Whoops. We were going to talk to Mako during the space missions, weren't we? My mistake. Before we find a place to dock, we do have... Yep, I can store this away for now. This is the first world where Imperial and Republic players can encounter one another. No, for the most part, since both Imperial and Republic factions are courting the Hood Cartel, there is a 
I suppose an unwritten rule where we should be trying to maintain neutrality. Though that is to say, if anything was to happen outside of the Hood Cartel's prying eyes, then who's to say that we couldn't kill an Imperial player or two? Sorry, a Republic player, bloody hell. I've been playing as Caiaphas Kane of late. Getting my loyalties all mixed up, oh dear. That's not a good start. Um, I will pop an experience booster because why the hell not? Here at the Mesenti Spaceport. Before we even reach out for the world mission, we have a situation here in the spaceport itself. You there, Hunter. Got a job for you. Right up your alley. Was overseeing a prisoner transfer. Wee Quay pirate name of Vomba. Couple of bounty hunters caught him. Wanted the reward. Somehow Vomba's mates found out. Shut down our security droids. Turn the entire spaceport into a war zone before they made off with him. How much are you willing to pay to get this Vomba back? Vomba's gang polished off the bounty hunters, so I've still got a fat pile of credits waiting to be claimed. Between the droid shutdown and his cronies, that swaggering git has the run of the terminal, but we've got him cornered. Negotiations ended with a dead diplomat. I'm not having any more of that. Rather, someone just went in there and made an example of him. No one will be left standing. Much obliged. Bomber's gang has sliced control stations throughout the terminal. You reset them, the droids should power back on and do their part. From there, it's just a matter of cleaning up. Go wild. Excellent. So we need to reactivate the four security droids and then locate this weak way pirate. Do you remember how we had that champion colocoid on one of the heroic missions? over in Bugtown, and how it remained inactive, it didn't patrol until we got so close. Unfortunately, it works the same way with allied units like these security droids. If we leave a lot of Vomba's gang alive, the droids can mop up a fair few of them as well, but we would have to stay so close to let the droids start its patrol route. Just remind myself of where we are. Oh, we're quite close to level 43. And our next jump on the ability tree here. have a bonus to deal with 45 of Bomber's Gang. Security droids on the lower level, two on the upper level.
We do have a few of the gang patrolling, but shouldn't be an issue. Security droid active. Two security droids reactivated, and 26 of the gang members dealt with so far. Now, is this first droid? The first droid hasn't even left the safety of its cubicle yet, it would seem. Yeah, it's taken its sweet time. Oh, I thought that enemy set had respawned. Oh, made more friends. Bomba's got himself holed up behind this security door. It will not unlock until we've reactivated all four of the security droids.
can actually hear a bit of gunfire happening on the lower level. Yeah, while well, the security droids is dealing with some of the gang for us. We are eating through our... <clears throat> Excuse me, find my words. Eating through our heat, of course. That is a problem. Level 43, what do we get? We've gained puncture. Rail shot ignores 60% of a target's armor. And rocket punch of flaming fist. Deal 10% more damage. Very nice. We've also gained prototype rail. Rail shot may be fired at targets that are not incapacitated or suffering from periodic damage. In addition, rail shot ignores 30% of a target's armor, vent six heat if, if if it hits a bleeding target, and reflourishes the duration of your retractable blade blades bleed effect. Right, so we just have the 15 second cooldown to fight oh like the work over now. We have two passive and one active ability we can activate. We can increase the range of flame burst, magnetic blast, shatter slug, deadly onslaught, energy burst, and rail shot to 15 meters. In addition, retractable blade ticks decrease the cooldown of power yield. Okay, that's pretty good. When activating energy shield, you gain advanced shielding, making you in the next Culto Overlord heal up to 45% health, or your next power heal lasts for 15 seconds. Or we can activate a Terminator droid to scan an area for 15 seconds, revealing any stealth opponents and immobilizing them for 3 seconds. That's tempting, but I'd rather grab Advanced Yield for the moment. We may change that up when we do a bit of PvP, where the Terminator droid might be more useful. I'm not scared of you. need a good way to earn more of these energy loads. The fact that we can use rail shot at any point in time now is pretty good.
we're in combat with someone. Hi. Didn't see you there. Reach the security door and deal with this weak way pirate ourselves. Some bodies available for looting here. You can hear the droid on the lower level engaging in more fights with the pirate gang. Buster. And here, Bomber's bounty. Sergeant Coulton didn't survive the firefight, so that won't need it. And we're starting to gain the Unleashed Armor set. Thank you very much. And your companion gifts. And a new power relic. Hmm. Same quality as the one we currently have. So be it. Help ourselves to some free loot. What we'll do is we'll get ourselves out of the plaza here, the heroic area. And I suppose we'll take a break before we engage with the world mission and head on our way over to the promenade to speak with this hot aligned Twi'le. One thing before we take a break, though, one thing we should look at is the Galactic Seasons. I haven't really looked at this, and it's going to end, well, relatively shortly, 38 days. There are different, also, I think this is Season 4 or Season 5, which each, with each season, you can complete various awards, similar to your Conquest and you will earn 
obviously different rewards depending on how far, how many levels you gain. Like, similar to a battle pass for free players and subscribers as well. You've seen a few pop-ups where we've earned these dark spores. And seemingly we are quite close to our current cap. Have a look. Yeah, we have 192. So I'm guessing we're able to spend these. You can turn these in on the Republic or Imperial fleet to earn reputation with a group known as the Master's Top Secret Army. A very curious. And there is a unique armor set, it would seem. Hmm, I see. But we have this unique mission as well, which comes with this galactic season. And then there is another mission here. We have Dark Tidings, we have Price of Victory. And then we have Chains of Freedom. Interesting. Okay. I just thought I'd point out what these Dark Spores are all about. Because we're quite close to our max with them. When we get back to to Viken Space Dock, we will probably go searching for this vendor. Looks like it's a droid. 3v1l. And I suppose we'll see what we can turn in, what rewards we can get for reputation with this top secret army. But that's all for next time when we're next at Viken Space Dock. When we come back, we'll see how we can aid Imperial interests here on Narshadar while searching for someone who knows the whereabouts of our target, this professional assassin known as the Eidolon. Thank you all for joining me though with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, and as always, hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no take care. Bye bye now.